Hey guys, I got a really cool guitar to show you guys today. I'm super excited about showing you guys this one. Come in here and take a look at this. All right, so I got Nathan down here with me today. And we are going to take a look at this thing that he brought in. What you bring in today, Nathan? So this is a custom shop heavy relic telly. And you got a humbucker in the neck. And uh, it's a nice three color sunburst. You can see it's super relict. Some guys either hate it or they love it. You know, there's no in between. So tell us what you think down in the comments. If you like a relic or if you don't. If you got to earn that wear, if you can buy it. Yeah, this one was store bought. Store bought relic. Yep. And you can see it's got some really authentic lacquer checking. Um, and obviously you got all your dings and your scratches and paint missing and whatnot, but um, they do a pretty good job relicking them. You can't deny that. So all the hardware is like aged and if you even look at the screws in the pickguard, they look like they're 60 years old. Okay, they're all rusted over. And uh, you got your standard three-way switch and your knurled knobs on there like a regular it, telly. Uh, it almost makes me want to shine this stuff up. Yeah. And uh, three saddles right there, flat pole pickup. So instead of having the staggered pole pieces, you got the flat pole pieces. So let me ask you, what year was this thing made? What year is this guitar? Um, I believe that this one was a 2010. And in the case here, we have all the paperwork. So if we look at the certificate of authenticity, this was made on 6-15-2010. Okay. And a vintage humbucker telly relic. And uh, came from the custom shop, and then we have the rest so of. The let me ask you a quick question about custom shop versus the um, the master built. That's right. Right. Uh -huh. So the custom shop guitars are kind of team built. Okay. So um, actually, if we uh, take a look in here, I think it might tell you who worked on what. So we have this. Um, Right here we have this kind of check sheet. It says prep was by, I don't know if you guys know that signature, uh -huh. assembly, tune and test, and then inspector. You got your serial number, and then you have your um, your uh, your model there. So that was a hang tag that would come with it. So anyways, the, the custom shop, they're kind of team built. They're built by all the guys in the custom shop. And then you have your master built guitars, which are gonna cost you couple thousand dollars more than a standard custom shop guitar but it was handmade by one guy yeah like you've heard of the john cruz i think is his name he's like right. one of the he's like the most popular master built guy and you know his guitars will sell for like six grand or more yeah but um and then in here we have all of your like warranty cards and um the original tag from guitar center so this thing was 3700 bucks brand new mm -hmm. back in 2010 and uh it's just cool to see all this come with the guitar you know you have all the all the original tags and everything is just uh helps you prove that the guitar is legit and it's just kind of cool to see all that stuff come with the guitar so and uh seems like they did a 60s style case with the black um, Tolex and the red interior yeah this is nice I love these cases and uh, if you look at the fretboard it's all super worn in and the lacquer is kind of worn out in all the spots you know and if you flip it over on the back you could see that they actually sanded off most of the lacquer along the neck like someone played it you got some Fender tuners on there, custom shop on the back of the headstock, mm -hmm. and um, got your custom shop on your neck plate here, mm -hmm. and uh, just a really cool guitar, man. What what kind of wood is this? Is this an ash body or? That's what I would guess. I'm not entirely sure. I can't really tell by looking at the grain like some guys can. Right. But I would say it's probably ash. This guitar is a good weight. It's not too heavy, but it's not super light. The neck on it is a nice, chunky neck. Not a big old baseball bat, but feels good in your hand. And uh, so, standard so ashtray So they modeled bridge. it after a 50s tally? 
or a 60s. Well, the 60s would have had a um, would have had a rosewood board because in 59 or 60, I think it was 60, they switched to a rosewood board. And then. Um, and what year did they put the big pickup in it in the humbucker? They only board? did that in the 70s. So okay. this would be like a modded one. You okay. know, like a lot of, I just saw Keith Richards play the other day on Monday. Yeah. I went to the Rolling Stones concert. Awesome, good for you. And, uh, you know, he is a guy that has an old Blackguard telly with a humbucker in the neck. You yeah. know, so it was a really common mod that a lot of guys would do. Joe Bonamassa plays one. Um, like I said, Keith Richards plays one. And um, So in the 70s, they changed everything to the Rosewood fingerboard. In the 60s, they switched to a Rosewood boards. And in you the could 60s. still... You could okay. still get some with a maple, uh -huh. but maple is more associated with the 50s when they did that. So they're so and other than that pickup in there, they're trying to make this seem like this is a 1950s. That's what, kind of what it seems like to me. Uh -huh. But um, another thing that to note is in the 50s and the 60s that um, you've all heard of custom color guitars, right? So you know that the standard for most guitars was the Sunburst. And anything other than that was a custom color. So if you wanted a white Strat, you mm -hmm. had to custom order it from the shop, right? Mm -hmm. Well, not for Tellys. The Tellys usually came in either that butterscotch or that blonde color that you always see the Tellys. Yeah. So this, if it was a 60s or 50s Telly, the Sunburst would be considered a custom color. So for this model... I'm not sure if they were necessarily going for a, let's make a 50s guitar, or let's make a 60s telly. I think they're just trying to make an old telly. You know, it's got a humbucker in the neck, a pretty mm -hmm. common mod. And, so they're um, trying not to go after a certain year. They're just yeah, kind of going I don't after Yeah, I don't look. think for this one they went for a certain year. It's all about the look on this guy. Yep. Just a heavy relic telly. You know, the relicking is a pretty big craze right now. You know, with all of your Nash guitars. It has and been for like 10 years now. MJT, probably. you know, all those guitars. And um, if you wanted a Tele that was all this beat up and stuff that was actually from the 60s, it'd cost you a lot more than a custom shop guitar. And these are no means cheap guitars, but you're not paying 50s Tele prices on them, you know? Yeah. And uh, overall, man, great guitars. They're really cool. And you could tell that they're definitely built to a certain quality, you know. Um, it's It definitely feels a little more authentic than, like, a, just your standard, like, American reissue telly. And, um, you know, they did the Road Worn series right. for the people that like the Relic but don't want to spend three grand on a guitar. Right. So it doesn't really match this, though. You know, the... Just the detail that they do on these, like, you could see the lacquer checking on it. That they, it's a really thin coat of nitro. Uh huh. And, um, you know, you can't really feel any edges on it, or you can't really, like, it doesn't chip off, you know, it kind of wears down, and, and, uh, it's not like the poly. And just really crazy guitars, dude. Is there a finish over top of nope. where? No, there is not. No finish I've seen over some top. Some guitars where they relic it, and then they finish. They put a clear gotcha. finish over top of that relic. No, this one's more authentic, you know, like, uh, this is like you had a brand new guitar and someone played it for 50 years. Yeah. And, you know, they wore it all down. They probably toured with it or whatever, but, um, so this will continue to, um, continue to become more and more relic, I guess you would say, more and more wore down and stuff as the, as you play it more and more, the paint's going to continue to wear down and um you know they kind of they kind of relic it in places where it's reasonable like uh -huh. in here you know you're not going to have like huge gouges in there and a bunch of nothing's paint missing because in there. Yeah. unless you're playing all the way up here uh -huh. you're nothing's ever going to be happening down in there or, so. you know a lot of guitars they get the crack right in here yep but they, they purposely make sure that doesn't happen because nobody wants to see that. No. Yeah, even if it was intentional, yeah, you don't really want to see that. that they wouldn't so. do that, yeah. But, um, you know, along the back where it's all on, touching on your body and right here along uh -huh. your arm. And, yeah. You know, you got some marks here and there. This and could have been a little bit. I, I mean, I see a lot of guy, guys where it's relic all the yeah. way through that whole area. You know, area. a lot of the custom shop guitars, you will see them 
have this whole area missing and yeah but they try and make them each a little different you know i think it's just kind of whatever whoever's relicking the body at the time kind of uh, feels what they want to do that day yeah you know because it's not a standard production guitar i guess where they all look the same yeah. like if you get those road worn guitars the made in mexico ones yeah they kind of all have the same relic pattern on them i know and, so and like right at the 10th kinda, fret it's like or like nobody played the d chord on yeah on the one right I had. so remember that this like with these ones they kind of make it unique you know and everyone's a little bit different yeah and um they vary in how aged they are like this one's considered a heavy relic right where you know it's got tons of paint missing on the back and yeah on the front but then they do the super heavy relic ones where there's hardly any paint on them at all right so like it would be mostly this uh-huh and then you'd maybe see some finish around or you know maybe some finish here and there and but this one's definitely a heavy relic and uh they even the fretboard right there like they just really wear it down it looks the like there's even dirt in it yeah i know pretty crazy man but. and being at a used guitar shop where i get all these guitars and all i do is purposely try to shine them up you know this is kind of the, the complete the opposite, opposite of that, that. yeah and like the thing is is that a lot that of up. a lot of guys though they're after this look right some guys will come in and they'll say i want a mint guitar I don't want it to have a single scratch on it. Right. I want it to be brand new out of the box. Right. And then you'll get the guys that come in and they'll see this guitar on the They're wall and they'll be like, out. dude, what is that? Oh, I know. You know? Yeah. Like, I remember true. when you had that road worn strat in here. Mm -hmm. I like the relic stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You can say what you want about it. I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's cool. And you know, I you I saw the road worn strat that you had in here a while ago and it caught my eye right away. I know. And you're like, man, it's that's sold a cool quick, guitar. Too. It's sold quick. So these relics, man, like, they're not for everyone, but the guys that love them, love them. Yeah. And the guys that hate them, hate them. Yeah. But it is what it is. You're going to have to pay for one of these, though, so better make sure you like there's, it. There's you guys the that would them. trade their wives for that guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily I didn't have to do that. I don't think Madison would be too happy. Okay, well, our, our last step here is to uh, let's plug it into something and let's give it a listen because everybody wants to hear what this thing sounds like. Cool. All right, guys, so we're going to play through this uh, heavy relic telly from the Fender Custom Shop. And uh, we're playing through a Vox AC4 hand wired tube amp. So, uh, cool, great little amps. You know, they're hand wired and um, classic Vox crunch to it. So, we're going to start here in the neck humbucker. And I got my tone and volume rolled pretty much all the way up. So. Mm -hmm. 